Do I have a standing desk now? Yeah, I have since I moved into my new studio. Could you initial this report, please? Huh. Yes. Very thorough. See? I am good at my job. I wouldn't go that far. Here. How's the game so far? Love We've it. got a bunch of other reports ready for the captain's signature. Why don't you take him the whole stack? There it is. Leonardo Aether, thank you for the 60 months, buddy. Can't you see me be thinking? Make it quick, sloppy! Paperwork? Okay, hand it over. All stamped. Now please give me some peace and quiet. Good news, Chef Putra. You're officially promoted. I'm a chef! Chef Putra! <laughs> Thanks, Swabby. You're amazing. I owe you one. So, Chef, you sure I can't change your mind on the Monkey Island issue? I do owe you one, but I'm still voting whatever way Rose votes. Okay. What exactly is a Scorched Alaska? Imagine a dessert shaped like a huge legless jellyfish with a texture like ice cream wrapped in packing foam and it sets your face on fire when you eat it. <laughs> Appetizing. Not really. I don't suppose you know how to make Scorched Alaska? Of course I can make Scorched Alaska. I have to warn you though, it's not going to be very spicy. It'll be fine. You wouldn't like the full strength version anyway. Okay. Some chefs these days use dandruff out of a can. But I would never take a shortcut like that. One scorched Alaska, extra mild. Thanks. Sweet. Hardly any warmer now. Hmm. What is something we could do to make this hotter? Obviously the pepper would help, but now let's go let's go see if he likes this. I'm guessing he's gonna say he doesn't like it. Let's check. I had to call in a few favors, but I managed to get you this. Ugh, take the monstrosity away. Its blandness offends me, even at a distance. Yeah, okay. Scotch Alaska must be like a hot poker to the tongue. Gunpowder, maybe? That seems promising, but inconvenient for carrying around. Hmm. Hardly any warmer now. Golemites. How are you? Hello. Okay. Oh, maybe we can cut off the hot poker? That's a good plan. Yeah, chat. This should make it good and scorchy. The Duke and the Steve. The Steve with a 99! Thank you, bud. I had to call in a few favors, but I managed to get you this. A scorched Alaska. He specifically Sweet said it. I need a better way to carry it around. My shady and poisonous childhood. 
it seals me inside like a lost love. A masterpiece. Eh? There's one bite missing. I, um, well. Much respect, Swabi. I am in your debt. I hate being in debt, so uh, let's just say I'll vote your way next time we talk about that uh, plan of yours. The one with the monkeys. You're not reading this. Can I borrow it? Sure. I'll let you have it for the rest of the day. Thanks. Hey, Bob, I've got a great book for you. Hey, this looks promising. Thanks. I owe you one. Can I count on your vote to go to Monkey Island? Sure, no problem. Okay, so the last thing we have to do... Putra is going to vote however Iron Rose votes. I still think you should vote to go to Monkey Island. I don't want to talk about that now. I'm having a crisis of faith about not being inspired by LeChuck to follow his lead. Okay. Not being inspired by LeChuck. I don't have time for that right now. It's all stuff LeChuck has to approve anyway. <laughs> Do you remember giving me this at my orientation? It's got some good stuff in it. Oh, yeah. I put it together myself, you know. No kidding. <laughs> Betray trust, commit fraud, threaten bodily harm. So unswerving, so unapologetically ruthless. This really takes me back. Me too. Uh, back to earlier today in my case. LeChuck is really an amazing leader. You can hang on to that if you like. Nah, thanks. I'm good. Now that I've remembered why it is that I'm willing to follow LeChuck anywhere. Even when I think he's doing something stupid. Just so we're clear, that means you're going to vote to go to Monkey Island now? Yes. Even though I know you want me to. Works for me. I think I've got everyone's support now. Time can we vote on going to Monkey Hell Island yeah. again? You want another vote? Go <laughs> ring the bell yourself. <laughs> One bell, voting hour. Didn't we just do this? The meeting is called to order. Are there any matters to be voted on? Following Madison's ship to Monkey Island, on which I vote aye. 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 Six in favor, none opposed. I hope you're happy, Grandma. Everybody, get ready. We'll follow the other ship as soon as she gets underway. Yes. So then you went to Monkey Island. Almost. It was time to send Murray back to Madison. Applause, please. They're all gonna conk out, right? She's underway. All hands, stand by to make sail. Days pass. We're nearly there, me hearties. The fabled shores of fabled Monkey Island. Captain Madison and her associates will have to be dealt with, of course. But our top priority is the secret. <coughs> <coughs> Extra grog rations for everyone. Grog. Yeah. Hey. All right. Wow. <laughs> uh oh. Grape wood. Oops. What? I did not see that coming. I want to savor this, so I'm going to let you have the first jab. Let's make this quick. I've got an appointment with a secret. I'll cover that meeting. Your innards have a prior engagement with the tip of my sword. Okay, decent comeback. Why don't you try again? You're all buttress and no cutlass. You're all mattress and a blast. Oh, oh, oh. hey, cheating. I won that round. Also, I'm pretty sure we're supposed to use the swords when we do this. 
You don't seem to know how to use a sword. I can't decide if you're waving that thing like a feather duster or more like a mop. Hey, I know that one! Oh, I've been practicing, huh? What comeback would you use for waving it like a feather duster or like a mop? Either way, I'll clean the floor with you. That's what I thought, too. I can't decide if you're waving your sword like a feather duster or more like a mop. Either way, I'll clean the floor with you. Too late to start doing your job now, Swabby! Hey, you're laying a comeback on my comeback? That's gotta be against the rules. You really should keep up on the latest trends. Good night, yeah. Freepwood. Oh my god, that's so good. That's so good. I love it. I love it. Is this game as good as the old ones? I, I think so. Yeah. I think it's a great... It's not only as good as the old ones, it's like a really nice good step Good thing I can forward. still hold my breath for 10 minutes. More or less. Is it more or is it less? What? You say you can hold your breath for 10 minutes, but then sometimes you say 8. One time I heard you say 12. Which one is it? Well, in my prime, I could do 10 minutes, no problem. Are you in your prime in this story? Eight minutes. <laughs> now let me get back to it before the eight minutes runs out. Monkey Island, six minute walk. I probably should have saved the game. It's a hand. Nice! Ha <laughs> ha! At last! Hello, Monkey Island! It's me, Guybrush! Did you miss me? Your secret will be mine. Ten minutes, tops! I just need to take a look at the map I stole from LeChuck. Aw, it's a heart with L and E, someone romantically carved into the tree. Into the jungle. Begin your search at the red berry bush, follow the stone monkey hand, stick to the path by the wooden chicken, sneak past the bees, and heed the sign. Okay. Also, we got a card. How many mop trees are there? What? More than one mop tree? Oh, was zero an option? Oh God. Was zero on there? Oh God. Murray, is that you? Sorry about the cannon. Oh, it's just a creepy skull. I'll keep this for my Shakespeare. Oh my God. Ooh, red berry bush. That is gazeworthy. It's a big stone monkey part. I shudder to think about what part I might find next. Our wooden chicken. Is that a finger? Secret? Wait, what? Hm, I didn't know the island was zoned for housing. You can't go by the bees. Oh, or I can. What an amazing stroke of luck. A free shovel to dig up the secret with. I'll just grab this. What possibly could go wrong? Whoa! That's not LeChuck. Oh, that was root beer. You must be the smart one. This clown won't know LeChuck's secrets, but I guess we could torture him anyway. Wait, 
Wait. What was that you said about LeChuck's secrets? Do you know LeChuck's theme song, his catchphrase, or his favorite food? Why on earth would you care about any of that? Ugh, this is going nowhere. We wouldn't even be in this bind if you'd let me kill him on melee. Don't start with me, Lila. Remember, it was me that intercepted the real map on its way to LeChuck in the first place. That's a blank piece of paper. It's encrypted. I can reveal it with a dark magic spell, but I have to have LeChuck's personal information to break the security. As part of the spell, we have to play his music, say his catchphrase, and eat his favorite food. You could just ask him? Ugh, LeChuck is too powerful to face directly. This trap was supposed to catch him off guard so we could get the information out of him. And now we're out of root beer. I swallowed a lot. Maybe wait a half hour? Or I poke a hole in you and it squirts out right away. We could ask his crew about all that stuff? We thought of that. But they are on the ship and it's enchanted to be unboardable. Only LeChuck and his crew can get on it. Well, not sure I was ever technically fired. I mean, I did wind up at the bottom of the ocean, but no one ever said the words, you're fired. You can get on the ship? Probably. I mean, definitely. Yes. Fine. Here's the deal. You find out what we need to know. We decode the map and we split the secret four ways. That's the only offer and I won't make it again, in or out. What are the alternatives? We kill you. I accept. No way! You teamed up with Captain Madison? Well, they were planning to double-cross me, of course. My only option was to do it first. Double-cross them before they could double-cross me. Triple-cross. Dad. I'd get them what they needed to work the spell on the map, and then I'd find a way to steal it. Cool! Remember, it's his theme music, catchphrase, and favorite food. We're camped at the big monkey ahead if you need anything. Actually, there is one thing. Okay. Murray? Is that you? Sorry about flattening you. Oh, that's just a spooky skull. I'll keep this for Halloween. Boom. The rocks around here are treacherous. I have to be careful not to stub my toe. Well, the age-old battle of rock versus hull only ever ends one way. It says the sea monkey. Little hey, dancing this crab! This is my old ship from Monkey Island 1! Wow! The sea monkey brought me adventure and fame. Oh, I feel like this is a good omen. Either that, or this forgotten wreck of a ship discarded on the beach is highly symbolic. Yeah. Oh, I'd love to get the old girl running again. It'd be a great summer project. Wow. I think that's it here. Let's check out the skull. It's faded over the years, but it still says private property. Another skull. Murray? Is that you? Sorry about the things I said to you. Oh, it's just a rancid skull. I'll keep this for the voodoo lady. Uh, remind me again when we get rid of Threepwood? You have the memory of a gnat with a concussion. Uh, I'm just looking forward to it, that's all. Once we find the secret, you can have him. Ha! They won't get the chance. As soon as the map is visible, I'm grabbing it and getting out of here. Hey, partner. Someone has a nice collection of colored glass bottles. Someone has a nice collection of colored glass bottles. We're ready on our end. Have you learned LeChuck's secrets yet? Okay. Uh, yes? Okay, let's get started. The first step is to play LeChuck's theme music. You're the one who knows how it goes, so you're in charge. Your instrument is over there. Watch who you're calling an instrument. Threepwood! I might have known you'd be wrapped up in this. 
It's just your kind of swamp. Yours too, it seems. I do like the moral black areas. How was your trip to Monkey Island? Damp. People kept dropping me into cauldrons of glop for some reason. But I'll have my revenge on all of them. Especially that withered zombie man on LeChuck's crew. Oh my god, this is awesome. Okay, let's go. Bye, partner. Bye. The first game to use the scum system was... Maniac... Maniac Mansion's the first one, but let's go with that. I didn't know if it was the first use of the scum system. Looks like it was. Uh, we need more skulls, yeah. Let's go here again. Maybe we can poke around back here and find some stuff. Just a whole lot of jungle around here. Okay, that doesn't I matter. think I definitely... That is gazeworthy. What is carved into the tree at Munch Monkey Island? Help us see. LOL. <laughs> trivia go-getter. Answer 10 trivia questions correctly. The trivia thing was such a brilliant idea. So good. Ah, I guess not. Sensing pure evil here. More than what's reasonable for an ordinary sea creature. How many pirates are at Scum Bar at the beginning? Three in the back, four at the table, and the one at the beginning. This whole tremendous ship is kind of a floating midlife crisis. Remember that? I have to actually pay attention in this game. So. <laughs> it requires the smallest amount of, of brain activity. Oh, you're still here. Drowning down with just me thoughts. He's writing poetry. Hello again. Again? I don't know you. I'd remember an ugly mug like yours. Ooh, my mistake. See you later. No, wait. Hold, hold me joking. Hang about. Maybe you can give me a hand. I'm a bit stuck. Did I see you stuff a notebook into your shirt? There's nothing you need to know about. Go away. What's in the notebook? Is it a diary? Look, it, it, it's poems, all right? Zombie pirate poems, but, but they're not finished. I've got some problems to work out with them still. Maybe I could help you with your poetry? I've dangled a metaphor or two in my day. Well... I am stuck in a few places. For instance, what rhymes with worms? Squirms. Oh yeah, that could work. All right then, I also need an idea for something that grows. Oh my God, are we mad living? Resentment. I think that fits. 
How about a rhyme for black? Snack. Right, uh, of course. Very nice. Thanks a lot. Uh, I was a bit underwater there, but I think at least I can call the first volume wrapped up now. Want to hear it? Hey. What do you want? Now that they're finished, would you show me your poems? What? So you can steal them? Oh, I don't think so. Okay. Honestly, I have no idea why I'm even asking. It's not your secrets I'm interested in, after all. Do you happen to know LeChuck's catchphrase? No. Whenever he's yelling, I get too distracted counting his teeth to pay attention. Got me in trouble a few times. Would you happen to know LeChuck's favorite food? I've got better things to do than watch that guy eat. Do you know if LeChuck has a theme song? Does a screaming of his enemies count? I doubt it. Then no. How did you get stuck on the rudder? I was just doing my job, breaking in a new swab. Well, that's not bad. Lob, fob, gob, oh, gob, gob could work. Anyway, let's just say that upper management took exception to my methods. And here I am. The new swab you mentioned, what was he like? Rising star, diamond in the rough? A useless plank. I don't think he knows one end of the mop from the other. Also, he come down here, stole a knife I was keeping in my back, and left me stuck. Didn't even try to help. Maybe if you'd been nicer to that swab, he'd have helped you. Not him. Sometimes you can just tell about people. <laughs> Did you ever think maybe you deserve to be left down here because you're a cruel bully with self-esteem issues? No. No. Now that they're finished, would you show me your poems? What? Hey, so Harvard, thanks for the five. Oh, I don't think so. Okay. Honestly, I have no idea why I'm even asking. It's not your secrets I'm interested in, after all. Enjoy your evening. Are you leaving? Without, without helping me? When I get out of here, I'm gonna eat what little there is of your brain and use your broken ribs to pick my teeth. in something real quick. back in here? They've sealed it shut. Oh. Let's go up here. I'm thinking we're just gonna get thrown off, right? You! Yeah. Uh, hi. You're not welcome on this ship, Threepwood. Hey, Gladkill. Mm. 